Welcome everyone to part two in this series of securing fields in ServiceNow. In this video, we're going to take a look at client scripts. Now, the only reason I've included this topic in this series is because I want to emphasize that you should not use client scripts as a method for securing data in the Now platform. They are inherently insecure. Think about it. They're executed after the query has been made to the database. So the data resides in the client. Now, there are some Glide4 methods that are available to you, such as set display, set visible, set read only, that you can use to hide fields and make them read only. But that data is in the client, it's there. So it's inherently insecure. Let's take a look at some examples. Okay, so the use case I've got here is this table called cars. It contains some vehicle information. And if we open up one of these records here, in addition to the, the location and the, the make and the model of the car, I've also got this field here, pin. Now let's just assume there is a requirement that this field should be visible uh, and writable only to admins, only if you have the car's admin role and not to car users. So I'm currently logged in here as another user with the car user role. And if I open up that same record, I currently have access to that field pin. All right, so let's go to my client script here. I've got a simple client script here that's going to perform a check to see whether the user has the car's admin role, and if so, display that pin field. If you don't have that role, you will not be able to see that field. So let's activate that and save it and test it. Okay, so if I refresh this page here, we should see no change because I have the car's admin role, and that works just fine. Okay, if I go to the car user, however, and refresh this page, we don't see the field anymore. We did actually for a brief moment in time, for about half a second, it appeared and then disappeared. So it's actually loaded in the client. We've actually have access to that data, just not, we just don't see it in the browser because that client script has hidden it. But there is a way that you can still see the value of that field. So in Chrome, I can just right click on this element here and go to inspect, just to look at the source code for this page. And if we take a close look at the source code here, we can see we're only looking at that no pin field right there. But if I go to the next uh, div here, uh, the form group, and just expand that and then expand this one here, if you take a closer look here, we can actually see the value right there for that field, 593034. We don't display it in the form, but if you're cluey enough, you can actually see it in the source code. So this is inherently insecure. Okay, so let's take a look at another example. Let me go back to my admin user here. I'm gonna deactivate that script. We no longer need that. And let's come to the second example here called make pin writable for car admins only. And it does exactly what it says. So the script down here is similar to the one that we just saw, only that the method here is set read only. So it does the same thing. In other words, it checks first of all, if you have the car's admin role, if you do, you've got write access to the field this time. If you don't have that role, you've got read access, read only access rather. Okay, so let me activate that and save that and we'll go ahead and test it. Okay, so as my car's admin user, if I refresh this page, there should be no difference. I can see the field, I can change this field. Okay, currently it's set to 593034. If I go to my car's user, however, and just refresh this page, we should be able to see the field this time. But, oops, you can see there we could actually, we did have right access to it again for about half a second before it changed to read only. Again, that was the delayed response of that client script. Once it loaded, it made that field read only. Okay, so here, if I click here, there's no way I can change the field. However, there is still a way I can do it. Okay, we've got that data loaded into the system now. And at the moment, there's nothing really preventing us from changing this field except for this browser page is not letting me do it. So let's come again to the source for this page. Let me right click on the field pin and go to inspect. 
and let's locate this value 5930034. So if I expand this div here, uh, we can see the value again over here, just like we did before. So even though we can't change it here, guess what? We can actually change it here. I can change that uh, 34 to 50 and hit enter. Guess what's going to happen? That value has been changed now. Okay, if I close this in the form, it's 50 now. It's still read only. I haven't saved it yet. But if I click on update, that record is now saved with that value. Okay, if I come back to my admin user, that's a message I get confirming that that value has been changed. So again, client scripts, insecure. It's only determining what's happening on the client side, not necessarily what's happening from the server and to the server. Let's take a look at a final example. Let me go back to ServiceNow Studio and deactivate that script. And let's have a look at the third one that I've got here. Which is called make pin read only when there is no pin. Okay. Or in other words, where that no pin field, uh, the one above it, has been selected, uh, we should hide this field and make it read only. This is what this script does here. Okay. So a slight variation on what we've just seen. Uh, the difference here also is that the type of the script is on change. So we're looking for a change to that no pin uh, field, that checkbox. And depending on what value is being changed or what it changes to, uh, we're going to make the pin field visible or not. Okay, so let me activate that, save it, and once more we will test it. Okay, so I'm going to come over to my form here and reload it. At the moment there should be any change, uh, but as soon as I select no pin here, it's going to have the effect of hiding that field. Okay, if I deselect it, it's back again. Okay, uh, if I do that as a user, so if I open up the same record here, we'll see the same functionality. Uh, I can make the pin field appear and disappear just by checking that box there. But again, all this is happening on the client side. You know, that data is still loaded in the background. So it may ne not necessarily be visible on the browser page, but I can always come to look at the source code for that page to see any hidden values. Okay, so the moral of this story is do not use client scripts for security. Okay, it is no guarantee that your data will be secure. As we've just seen in those simple examples, you can actually still see and even potentially change data uh, by looking at the source of the uh, page itself. Okay, certainly you can use client scripts for showing fields, hiding fields, making them read only for usability purposes. There may be cases for that, but definitely don't use them for security purposes. Okay, hope you found this video helpful and we'll see you in the next one.